welcome to this episode of Truth Seeker. We're trying to seek the truth out of what has been happening in Susa by interviewing all those involved. We know that a man named Haman has been promoted to the king's right-hand man and that his new decree has been causing a stir. Let's uncover the truth as we interview some eyewitnesses. I'm here with an eyewitness who saw Haman's argument at the gate. To protect his identity, we will call him Titus. Titus, tell us in your own words what happened. The king chose Haman to be his right-hand man, but he made a rule. A rule that all people had to bow down to him. You don't break the palace rule, the consequences can be, well, death. Haman was expecting everyone to bow to him. One day he was walking around making everyone bow. I think he was getting a kick out of it. Now, when this man Mordecai, I think his name was that, and he refused. Haman's face was a picture. He was fuming. What did Haman do next? Well, the next thing we hear, there's an order to kill the Jews. All of them. It turns out this chap Mordecai is a Jew. So Haman went to the king, got him to write another decree to say that on the 13th of Adar, all Jews would be killed. Crazy, right? I would not want to be in their shoes. <clears throat> no way. Jews' lives are on the line. Decrees are being written between the king and Haman like no one's business. Is there more to this story? I have another witness here who works at the palace and witnessed this decree being written. Emma, can you tell us more? Um, I was serving in the palace and well, it was a night like any other with loads of wine flowing. Haman and the king were chatting and as the night drew on, Haman started talking about the Jews, how bad they were and how the king should get rid of them. Then, he started to suggest the king made a decree to get rid of them all, because they would be better off removed. The king kind of thought this was a good idea. So he made a decree making it official and all. You would have thought they were writing a shopping list, not talking about killing people. They even rolled a dice to decide on which day. The name they gave to give choices by rolling the dice is called Purim. So, because of how they ended up being rolled, meant they chose the 13th of Adar. Then, they celebrated amazing this with a banquet, because, well, that's what they do. I would not want to be a Jew right now. What will happen next? Decrees cannot be undone. One man's refusal to bow down means all the Jewish people's lives are in danger. Tune in next week to find out more.